Hello, and welcome to the final video for the Cosmic Watch desktop muon detectors for version 3. So this video is going to give an introduction into how to update the software on the detector. So the detector itself has to run some routine in order to actually measure the incoming pulses from the silicon photomultiplier, as well as update the OLED screen or write data out through the serial port. Uh, this is all handled on a microcontroller called a TNC 4.0. And the video that uh, we're recording right now will actually go through how to download the most up-to-date software and then how to upload that software to the microcontroller. So what's required is essentially downloading a, pro a program called the TNC Duino, installing a couple libraries, and just hitting an upload button. But we'll go through it in detail here. All right, let's get started. Great, okay, so we're ready to upload software to the detector. Now, this is going to require uh, two pieces of software and the GitHub repository. So the GitHub repository is located here, and I've downloaded it in the previous video. It's uh, what this file is here. When you, un when you unzip it, you end up with this folder, and inside this folder, there is a software folder. The software fol folder contains a couple files. The readme describes what I'm doing in this video right now. Pitches.h you can completely ignore. Software.ino is the C-based code that actually the detector is running. So what we're going to need is we're going to need to download the Teensy Duino software so that we can upload this code to the detector. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so we need to install Teensy Duino. For Mac users, you can simply download uh, the Teensy Duino software, which comes with the pre-installed Arduino software already built in. For Linux and Windows users, you will actually have to go in and download the Arduino software first, that's this link here, then the Teensy Duino software and install it on top of the Arduino software. So I'll show you how to do it on a Mac. It might take a bit more uh, work uh, if you're on Windows or Linux. So if I copy this link, it brings us to the download page for Teensy Duino. I'm going to select Macintosh OS software. Software means that it's actually the Arduino software along with the Teensy Duino. When I click it, it downloads the software. It's 255 megabytes. Uh, and we don't want to sit here waiting for it to download, so I've already pre-downloaded it up here and uh, extracted the zip file, and th that's what this Teensy Duino software is here. OK, so now that we have Teensy Duino, I can double click on it to show you what it is. Let me just pause this download. Here is Teensy Duino. Teensy Duino is, uh, looks just like the Arduino ID integrated development environment. And it allows you to write code, and then when you hit upload, it'll send that code to your Arduino or your microcontroller of choice. Now, I have already written the code, so let's open that up instead. So let me close out of that, and let's get the software. You see it's opening in Teensy Duino. So here is the code that I wrote. OK. So at the top of the code, you can see there's a couple of comments about lines. These you must go through the first time that you use this, this, this software. So the first thing is you must tell Teensy Duino that you're going to be talking to a Teensy 4.0. So if I go Tools, Board, Teensy Duino, I can select Teensy 4.0. It looks like it already recognized that I'm going to be talking to a Teensy 4.0. For you, it might be different. The second step is we have to tell it what port we're going to be talking to. So I have a detector plugged in right now. Let me just change cameras. So I have this detector plugged into my computer, and it's talking through my, this serial port right here. Now that serial port, um, I will. This serial port, I can select if I go Tools, Port, and then up here you can see that it's it's talking to port seven nine three eight five seven zero one. I know this is the TNC. It actually says here TNC Duino but I have all these other ports connected on my computer as well. So I have to go in and select which one is the Teensy Duino. Okay, next up is we need a few libraries. So this code uh, requires a couple libraries to be installed. The Adafruit SSD 1306, this is to run the OLED screen, this guy here. The BMP 280, so this is actually to run the temperature and pressure sensor. And SDFAT is to talk with the SD card. Okay, so these are the three that I need. And to install these libraries, I go Sketch, Include Libraries, Manage Libraries. 
and then this is going to take a second to actually populate. So I'll just give it uh, probably 10 seconds to populate the list of libraries that I already got installed. So I've actually gone in and I've deleted all my libraries uh, for my Arduino projects and my TC. So that I'm doing this completely from scratch, so it looks kind of very similar to what you will be seeing. Um, what we're going to do is at the top field here is we're going to search for these three libraries. So first we're going to search SSD 1306. SSD 1306. You can see there's one by Acrobat, uh, Acrobotic. We're going to not download that one, we want the Adafruit one. Uh, we'll take the most recent version and we'll hit install. And it says, is there some other libraries you want? And let's just install them all. We don't need the other ones, but we can just install them. After installing, it's then going to update your list of available libraries again. So this will take another 10 seconds or so. And then we're going to search for BMP280. So let's just give it a second. Almost done. Okay. Now we're going to search for BMP280. We want the Adafruit version. Let's take the latest version here and hit install. And we'll take it again. And then we're going to have to wait for it to update, update the libraries one more time. And then the final library that we need is that SD Bat library. Uh, once those are installed, we can simply hit this upload button at the top left here. And that upload button will send the code here through the serial port into the detector and, and the detector will be running the most la the latest version of the software. Um, one thing to note is if I didn't install these particular libraries, when I try and upload the code, it will say, error, we do, I do not understand what Adafruit SSD 1306 is, or error, I do not understand what Adafruit BMP 280 is. And so that's a good indication that you have incorrectly installed these three libraries. So I'm now, in, I'm now searching SD for SD fat and I scroll down to SD fat and I click install. This is the final one that we need. And you only have to do this once. So once these are installed, if you ever upload the, the, the software again to the detector, you don't have to reinstall these libraries. Once they're installed, they're installed. Let's give it one more second to finish updating the list. I find on Windows that this is a much quicker process. Okay, so now I hit upload. So this top left button, there's a compi compi compile button here. We don't need to compile the code or verify. When you hit upload, it verifies it automatically. So there's it's sort of a redundant button. So if I hit upload, it's like gonna sp spit out a couple warnings. You can ignore the warnings. Um, it's gonna compile the sketch, then it's gonna upload the sketch, and then it's gonna tell you, hey, I'm done uploading. And we're gonna watch the detector reset after it's done uploading. So it's now uploading. And I just finished uploading. The detector resets. It says, hey, I don't see an SD card. I forgot to put an SD card into this detector. And right now, the detector has the most up-to-date code on it. So this wraps up the final video for this series for the Cosmic Watch Muon Detectors version 3. Uh, here what we did is we updated the software on the detector. Uh, this involves simply downloading Teensy Duino, installing a few libraries, and uploading it. Um, it actually wraps up the whole set of videos that we're going to make for the, this particular version of the detector. Uh, there's some aspects of the detector that I did not cover, say, uh, you know, an in-depth view of what the software actually does. So I would say if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through email, and I'll, I'll be happy to, to answer uh, them there. Thanks for watching.